This is a meeting of the Parking Authority of Fairfield. It's a special meeting being held on Wednesday, December 21st, 2022 at 7 p.m. Uh, the meeting is being held in Independence Hall as well as via Conference Bridge. Great. Thank you, Eileen. I know Eileen circulated the agenda uh, yesterday. Hopefully everyone received it. Uh, first on the agenda is obviously calling to order to the meeting, which we uh, did. Um, next is, oh, um, I didn't see it on here. I mean, minutes from last time. Oh, I forgot that. So okay, we all can, right. You can just add that. All right, so one item I just missed here on the agenda was to approve the meeting minutes from last month's meeting. Um, I know I didn't circulate them. We just didn't necessarily put it on the agenda here, but um, I didn't have any necessarily comments to them, but... I did want to open it up to everyone if they had any edits or uh, comments. If not, I'll make a motion to approve them. I second it. Okay. Adrian? And I am in favor. Great. All, All, in, favor. Favor. All in favor. Yep. Yes. I, thank you. Um, next on the agenda is the chair election. Um, I mean, do you want to cover this one or? Uh, yes. Yeah. So at the last meeting, we talked about um, that Rich would uh, be the chair of the parking authority, and we just need to make it official by taking a vote. So if somebody could, other than Rich, make a motion, and then someone else second it, and then we'll take the vote. I'll make a motion that Rich be chair of the parking authority board. This is Adrian. Yeah. Mike? Mike, you want to second it? Can you, you want to second it? Oh, I'm sorry. I, uh, I second the motion. Okay. Great. Okay. All in oh. favor? Aye. 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 Yep. Thank you, everybody. Aye. And I guess next on the agenda is the meeting schedule. And if you remember last time we met in November, you know, we talked about possibly investigating, you know, just a reduced meeting cadence. You know, obviously we're meeting monthly, and we wanted to investigate if we could meet um, either what uh, twice a twice a quarter or, or just once a quarter. I think it's uh, we said bi monthly. Bi monthly. So, and it still gives us the option of calling a special meeting whenever we need it. A special meeting is anything outside of the right. typical schedule. So this one. At, Tonight's meeting, for instance, is a special meeting because our monthly meeting is set for the 14th. Right. We had to cancel that, so this becomes a special meeting. So it would always give us that option if something came up that the board needed to discuss. Right. That's the same thing as today. But otherwise, yeah, right, we would try to do by monthly. By monthly. And once we hear back from the town attorney letting us know if he sees any kind of issue with that, um, we can set the schedule. Yeah. We have to set the schedule before January 31st. Okay. We haven't heard back from Jim Baldwin, the town attorney, yet, but Eileen put a, a message into uh, into him. And we, we've looked at the charter, and we don't see a reason why we couldn't do this. So um, hopefully all are in agreement uh, of this um, agenda item here. Just, you know, given, you know, sometimes we have very, you know, there's not a lot. It hasn't been traditionally you know, just other than reviewing the parking authority statistics and some of the kind of more special projects per se, but um, but as Eileen highlighted, we could just always call a special meeting should we need to, um, but it's just kind of more of an efficiency, you know, for, for everyone's time. I, we know everyone's busy, and, and hopefully everyone's in agreement of this. Okay. Sure. I, I, am in a, I am in agreement, So, I, I'm, but I'm going to talk out of the other side of my mouth. Um, so, you know, it's funny. I, I look at agendas, the, the agendas that are presented, and this is I still only happened maybe once or twice, but I'll say, oh, that's a thin agenda, right? And, um, but it always seems that as a board, we have a good discussion about something. You know, mm -hmm. whatever, whatever that, and, and we go deep because we don't have jam-packed agendas. I, I think that's a good thing. Um, so my only concern would be is if we, and, I, and again, I know we could have a special meeting. And again, let me go back to where I started. I do, I do support it, but I just wanted to throw this out there just for uh, discussion, okay. maybe. But um, you know, do do the do the agendas then become 
larger and the duration of the meetings longer because we're not having them as frequently. I, that that right. would be my – and can we – does that then minimize the ability to go deep when it comes to – as deep as we need to when it comes right. to, to an issue? I, I, I think we try it and see how it goes, and sure. we can always – modified. So I, I support it, but I just wanted to provide my thoughts on the uh, proposal. Yeah, those are very valid points. Um, I, and I, I agree with you. I, you know, Adrian, I'm not sure if you have any additional feedback as well or any concerns. You know, I, I think I, I kind of agree that there is typically some things that requires a response that waiting two months might be problematic. On the other hand, receiving every month has seemed a little excessive, and I'm not really sure how to square right. that. I mean, every six weeks would probably be ideal, you know? That's a good um, point. But I don't... It... All right. Well... I mean, basically, I think every six weeks, and maybe take off August or... Right. Know, Something Possibly. Like I know what you're saying. So August is a jam-packed month. Yeah. Well, we haven't heard back from the town attorney yet. You know, uh -huh. pending his decision, we can have a response or uh, have something. We, we have to meet. We're going to meet anyway in January, right? So, mm -hmm. We have to. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. we'll all have more to come on this. But um, okay. just wanted to throw it out there for everybody. Do, just to weigh Rich, do, we, do we want to do we want to vote on the proposal or just to have a vote on the record or or no? Just just for discussion. You can measure weight until yeah, okay. we until we have a result. Yeah, until we uh, have some yeah, feedback. Yeah, and, and, and I guess we, I guess now we're. I guess it's now recorded that I voted for more meetings. I mean, I thought, well, I, I mean, I actually proposed, you know, how I like having more meetings. I never thought I would say that, but that's <laughs> this is, uh, these. But these meetings are they're 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 productive and and we, yeah. Again, we, we don't just talk to talk, and so. But I um, but I support what you're proposing. That's just again, just to be clear. Okay, so we'll take this away and and bring it up in January's meeting and, and have a report and a recommendation, hopefully, um, you know, some type of approval that we could put forth for everybody with the proper due diligence, okay? Sounds, Sounds good. 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 All right. Next on the agenda is just our traditional office report that I know Eileen takes us through the latest and greatest. I'll, I'll turn it over to you, Eileen. Okay. Um, parking stats, uh, today we had about 550 parkers. Month-to-date, month, uh, month our average has been 630. We had a high of 800 yeah. last week, week, which was sure. really great. Yeah. Now, a lot of that, and I shouldn't say a lot, but some of that is holiday, people going in for the holidays. But nonetheless, there are more and more people that are going into the office we continue that, which I'll go into with the permits. But I do see a, you know, being over there all the time, I do see an increase in parkers. Yes. Uh, so. Um, but still well below our yeah. lot capacity and right. nothing is changing there. Is right. the mixture of the dailies going up? So the, for day parkers, the month-to-date average is about 145 a day. Wow. And 92% is in Fairfield, 8% in Southport. I will say that we have seen fuller. The Southport lot is getting fuller. Mm -hmm. For a long time, there was, was very empty. few. Right. And we are seeing more and more. There have been a couple of days where the lot has been full. Wow. Full. Um, That's no on way. the westbound side. Right, the westbound side. Right. And um, there's been a fair amount of people on the eastbound side mm -hmm. as well, and we've had a couple of people in Trinity. So oh, we're gosh. definitely seeing an increase in Southport. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so anyway, that's the parking situation. The permits, Fairfield, we've sold about 1650, Southport 250, so around 1900 in total. This differs from last year, last fiscal year and the fiscal year prior. Well, we sold about 2,000, so we're almost at that mark. That's great. Um, Pre-COVID, we had sold 2.2, so we're still below pre-COVID levels. Uh, but we continue to receive a lot of interest 
um, in and out, um, you know, for for permits. Good. More so um, Fairfield, but, you know, we've had a couple of people for Southport, too. Good. So um, I think out of, since um, all the out of cycle um, permits, as I would call it, we've sold about 200. So so we're really trending towards great. not so, not not pre-COVID, but getting right. back so towards. So think about the people who renewed. You know that number was less, but we've picked up 200 bus just from people who call. That's great. And would have been on a wait list. We have no wait list, so that's that's. I think that's promising. Mm -hmm. um, I also wanted to mention that the UI lights. We had seven yes. lights out for quite a long time, um, and. Um, Bottom line is they're all been re repaired, and so the lot is well lit again. Yes. Um, the police department has um, increased their presence. Increased I their see presence it. at the station. They are having officers uh, at in, staying in the station to meet all the trains. Yes. And so and, that's and I could definitely really attest on Monday night. I came home from. We went yeah. to uh, the Rockettes and with my family, and first thing my daughter, one of my daughters said coming off the train was there's a police car on, mm -hmm. the, on the southbound side. Right. And it was great to see that. Yep. So thank you for I, doing that. And, and I, well, I give a lot of credit to the police. They are incredibly it was supportive. Late. I was, it was 11.30, so. Yeah, they're, they're it, late. Yeah. And uh, they've been incredibly supportive um, and very concerned with safety. Mm -hmm. And they are just really supportive of the parking authority. We have a yeah, you have a really, great relationship. So, it's really yeah. they're very, a real big help. But I that think. was really important. I mean, I came yeah. with my family, and you know, the it's, first off, I I did bug Eileen when these UI lights were out yeah. for like a couple of weeks, but oh, but right. the lot was well lit. Mm -hmm. There was um, obviously the police presence was was great, and I don't know, I, I maybe I just noticed it because that's what we do, but right. I don't know, I felt it. So thank you. Yeah, I think it's it's all steps in the right direction. So. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay, so the next item. Hey, can I ask a question? Oh, I'm sorry. Um, the the residential building that had asked about spots. I'm not sure I'm clear what happened. Was so those? we're still testing that. Um, we have to make sure that those permits will not become hit with the LPR. And we've done a few tests, and unfortunately, the it's not working 100%. So I don't want to sell any permits and then have those poor people be getting police tickets. So um, we're, we, yeah. I've talked to the apartment building manager, and I explained the situation. He was fine. So I said, you know, I'm, I'm hoping that we'll have this done before the end of December. And I, once it is done, and I know that you guys will not get any um, tickets by mistake, right. then we would be ready to do it. And he, he agreed. He said, you know, better to wait right. a few more weeks than to have, to have people getting tickets. They're going to get all upset. Why did I get this? I just bought a permit. Yeah. So we don't want, you know, we don't want that situation. So that's that's mm -hmm. what's going on. We're testing, and actually, I'm going out and testing again tomorrow. Okay. Any any, <clears throat> any new inbound requests from like Fairfield U or anything else, or it's been well, pretty quiet. Well, they're on a break. Right. But we had a couple kids that are interested, so we'll contact them. Okay. Once this is up and running, and still within our pilot, still. still within our pilot mm -hmm. number. So okay. Yeah, and we'll see if they're still interested. There might be others. Some of them were going to. Um, there weren't a lot of them, but some of them were uh, thought they would get parking. For this coming semester, right. Uh, so we'll see who's who's interested, but there might be a new okay. group that is. So. All right. By then, hopefully it'll be all worked out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm hoping it's worked out by next week. Okay. Um, so I wanted to move to capital projects. Thank you. I put together a list of capital projects that um, have been, you know, some of them are ones we've talked about many times. Some of them are um, ones we've talked about in the past. Uh, I also, when I was reviewing some of my old notes, I wanted to add two more. One is um, the Southport repaving. That that lot is something that we've talked about right. a number of times, and uh, we didn't have the money at the time to do it. Um, but 
that lot is in pretty bad shape. So we do need to address that at some point. The other thing, and I don't know how much I didn't get any quotes on this, but we've always wanted to get uh, POS at the counter, you know, the point of sale terminals, mm -hmm. whether it be an iPad that they use or something like that, because a lot of our customers come in and want to use a credit card as opposed to having cash or a check when they buy their permit. Or, oh, you're saying here? Yeah. Oh, got it. Okay. Um, and because they can do it online at home. Yeah, but... But if, like, somebody comes in tomorrow and, and wants does to the buy town, a permit... the town doesn't have anything like a shared equipment or... No, we wouldn't be able to go through their system okay. and tie into ours. Um, and I, they have something, um, but it's um, it's a little different than what okay. we're. Okay, I must have hit something. Um, sorry about that. But anyway, that's one okay. thing that, that might be is like on my wish list. And that's that not because it doesn't cost a lot of money. No, you know, and, and it's efficiency um, play. I just think it would be a real. Um, benefit for customers that come in. A lot of them okay. have commuter spending, uh, flexible spending Yeah, they could card. swipe it, yeah. And if they come in and they want, let's say that they were buying a permit now. Right. So they're coming in off kind of like a wait list. And they want to use that card. They can't. Okay, All right. Um, so this would allow them to do that. And I have to work the whole thing out with our, you know, with our, system vendor and everything else, but okay. it is something that I think we should think about. I'm in favor of that, yeah. So I wanted to add that to the list. Anything to improve the customer experience, right. you know? Right, Okay, well, this is a great list then. Um, do you want to mention about the fire okay. alarm? So, yeah, we want okay. to update the fire alarms in Fairfield. I think that is probably, uh, well, we're going to talk about this in January. But um, this is just a, a listing of all the items Project. that came up. Some of them we've already, um, like I said, talked about. Some of them we've gotten quotes. So, uh, a number of them, on, like the fire, updating the fire alarms and the exterior painting and the um, I'm already got quotes coming in. Mm -hmm. um, and then the station house interior that, you know, we'll have a quote on that soon. Um, but, okay. um, you know, I also wanted to price out the plexiglass in, um, on the Unquist stairwell. Yeah. Um, that is really very, it's, it's really a, a bit of a mess. And um, they have different materials now. Um, and the material is actually fairly inexpensive. Okay. The cost is all related to labor. Sure. Because I think I was telling you that they have to cut it two size to fit inside the frame because the frame is connected to the over top, and they'd have to re-screw it in, and in some places they might have to re-drill. So it's a lot of labor okay. as opposed to materials. But I got, um, you know, an estimate, and... Um, These are all, we wouldn't... There's nothing that's like got to get done right now. This is just for next year, like yeah. like our January onwards and spring time, right? Right. right. Obviously, painting and and Adrian, I think look at the last one on the list. Yeah, I'm very excited. Okay. <laughs> My fear right. is that the train is going to pull into the station just as as you start talking about it. <laughs> so. <laughs> okay. Um, well, this is a great list. I, We're going to go more detail. In January, right? Right. Okay. And so I think, I think the I one, thought one. is that if you, if anyone has additional right. things that they want to mention, you know, email them to Rich and, and myself, and I'll add it to the list. I'll reissue this. I'm hoping that I might have more quotes to fill in by mm -hmm. January, and then at that point, we, you know, you can have a much more detailed discussion about priority right. and cost. Okay. Very helpful. I, I mean, can I just mention one other one other item? And I, again, I don't know, Rich, Adrian. I mean, if you agree with me or not, but mm -hmm. the stairs per se uh, on, along Uncle Road, I, I find uh, not that again. After a long day in the office and being on the train, maybe part of it is just fatigue. But I, I don't. They've got rounded edges, and, and I, I sometimes I feel like the 
the, uh, the runner, if you will, the part where you put your foot is not as doesn't extend as far as it should. That just I'm I'm always I'm worried about a misstep on those steps. And so I would I would propose just to get it on the list, looking at those steps. Sure. Okay. Uh, I, Agreed. Yeah, they do. They do seem They're short, small. but They're they small. were built to code. Yeah. So I'm not sure what happened, but I agree. They don't feel like stable. I can put. Yeah. I can get my foot on it, but you know, somebody else yeah. might not yeah. get their foot on it. And um, you know, it's something. The you know, some of these things like the plexiglass and the stairs. The problem with that is. We have to have a plan. I know. If you close yeah, that, that down, people go all the way around. We've like, got to a, have a plan on how we're going to get those people to the other uh, side. Yeah, no, I don't know if we get a as, full weekend. As a board member, know. I just wanted to throw it out there as a yeah. as something to consider. But yeah, agreed. Hey, can I just ask a question um, about this, Jerris? It occurred to me that it's a little grim walking over, you know, to the parking lot after, you know, after you get off the train. Um, I mean, I, and I only do it periodically, but um, maybe there's an opportunity for murals there. Just make it a little more lively looking. You mean on the plexiglass? Uh, on the, that there's something that could be painted or just made it look more cheerful. I, I'm actually on the train now, except I'm walking so okay. this evening. I'm not going, but if I have a moment, I'll look and maybe I can probably see our photos. But I'll try to go over there in the next few days and see if there's an opportunity. I was just wondering if there's any sort of color or something we could add to spruce it up. As long as as long as you're doing something with the plastic, I don't want to complicate things, but. Yeah, I mean, you know, that's certainly something that, you, you know, there would be discussion on. I guess my, my thought was to do it clear so that it's brighter, people can see, right. be a little safer. Yeah, no, for sure clear. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But, um, um, I don't know. I, I will look yeah, and see if there's any there place meeting. where there's just some – I'm not sure what part of it. I can't picture it well enough. Um, it's just – it's a little bit – I, I guess it was, is it all plexiglass? I thought there were parts yes. that were cement. No, well, so the I'm, then you know, maybe I'm, do, I shouldn't be speaking. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, the bottom three and a half feet is cement, and then above so maybe that, that is plexiglass. I mean, maybe there's an opportunity there. I don't know. I, I, and I, I don't want to make it unnecessarily complicated. I just was trying to think of a, you know, like murals on the rear of the parking lot. I understood why that was not uh, a great idea, but was just okay. wondering. Anyway, I, wa- I don't want to yep. drag this out. Well, all good discussion. You know, yeah. when we have this in January, we have, uh, I think, hopefully more details behind Right, that. we'll set the, set the prioritizations for next right. year. Okay, good. Um, yeah, I like the like the list. I mean, it's it's really it, it's a robust, diverse, uh, solid list. I, Good. Well done. Thanks. I, we appreciate it. Um, listen, you know, the, if you think of it, there's always something. This is like a this is like a house that needed repair. But um, we want to hit the, the the key areas and uh, hopefully continue to improve the uh, commuter experience. I, I think that's most important, the best extent possible at the station so good yep um next on the agenda i know we have a executive session I think. Yeah. so do we have to we have to vote to go in got it. and then i'll leave got and, it and uh, we, uh, lock all right so, we so recording. perfect all right so i'm going to make take a recording i'm going to take a vote here to go into executive session I need someone to second it. I second it, Mike. I second it. Mike. Great. And Adrian, all approved here? <laughs> yep, approved. Okay. Thank okay. you. And we'll so stop we'll the session.
Okay, it is 7.50 and uh, the board has just come out of executive session. No votes or motions were made during the executive session. Agreed. And so now we can move on to adjournment. Great. This is uh, Rich Fitzgerald, 750 here. I'm going to make a motion here to adjourn this evening. Does need someone to I check second on? that. Great. All in favor. And I'm in favor. Yeah. Excellent. Happy holidays, everyone.